What's up guys, Snake here. Got something new I'm gonna be doing for you guys. I'm um, gonna be trying to answer some more of your questions through video. Um, I, get, I get a lot of questions coming to me through, through Facebook, comments on YouTube, Twitter, etc., etc. A lot of people ask me questions and it's kind of hard to get back to everyone individually. So I'm gonna try to hit on a lot of these questions from now on with videos. So make sure you stay tuned to my videos to check out some of the answers. I'm probably gonna answer a lot of the questions that I'm, you, know, you might have asked. Um, one of the main questions I get from a lot of people is is this move that you do legal is that move that you do legal etc etc because some of the stuff that i do is fundamental basketball some is more street ball and trick oriented and, and freestyle basketball so i can understand where there's some confusion um obviously ma majority of, of the street ball type moves and freestyle basketball moves are going to be illegal that doesn't mean also though that there's there's not any value to learning them um a lot of them are unorthodox you know compared to today's standards but if you consider the fact that once upon a time, you know, between the legs dribble is considered fancy and, and not needed and, you know, behind the back dribble, is like, you know, behind the back pass, there was a time when people considered all that stuff to be, like, show off. And why would you do that? Over time, it's become accepted. People realize there is value to it and there is situations where it's a great, you know, type of move to do. So, Keeping that in mind, and also, you know, a lot of these tutorials that I do that are illegal, um, they also have benefit, not necessarily for, you know, you can't use them legally in a game, but there is benefit to learning them for improving your coordination, not just with the ball, but with your body coordination, working on your balance, working on your strength, your endurance, your, you know, there's so many factors that you can work on. I mean, consider this, a lot of things you do cross training wise, like weightlifting or you know you might do stretching things like that you're never gonna actually well how many times do you bring a weight onto the basketball court court how many times do you you know sit there and stretch in the middle game you're not gonna do that in a game that doesn't mean it's not useful to your game though so keep that in mind you know with a lot of these drills a lot of people you know they'll say like these drills and these trick moves like well you can't do it in the game so what's the point well the point is to develop your speed your strength your balance your body control, your ball control. So don't limit your perspective on what's useful. That being said, for fundamental basketball, I would say that generally I would spend the majority of your time training on fundamental moves, legal moves. To get back after all this little rant I just went on to what, what's an actually a legal move for what I'm teaching, the, the things you wanna keep in mind is your basic rules, carrying, double dribbling and you know basically those are the two ones is carrying and double dribbling um in a lot of street ball moves and freestyle basketball moves you're gonna see moves like this okay you can't do that you can't throw the ball in the air and catch it again that's illegal that would be considered a double dribble or like catching your own shot you can't do that you cannot dribble pick up the ball and then dribble again that is illegal okay i don't care how you do it you know you can go behind the back and dribble again. That's that's illegal. Anything like that's going to be considered illegal. The third thing to keep in mind is carrying. Um, you cannot put your hand over halfway under the ball. That's a carry. If you because now you're holding the ball. Now you're not holding the ball. The ball would fall off unless you can palm it. Which palming the ball is also illegal. You cannot palm the basketball during your dribble and continue dribbling. Okay, you can palm the ball before dribbling. If you just caught the ball from a pass, you can palm it and, and that. But you can't dribble, palm the ball, and then dribble again. You can't dribble the ball, put your hand under the ball, and dribble again. So keep this in mind. Like my hot sauce hurricane tutorial, I go like this, right? Watch my hand. To start, a lot of times I'll start with a carry on the ball. And when I come around, my hand's under the ball, right? You can pull it off, though your hand over the top of the ball doing it more like an inside out dribble which is legal because your hand stays over halfway on top of the ball the whole time see so that's makes it legal doing it like this that's illegal because my hands under the ball not illegal so keep that in mind um what one of the, the gray areas that it depends on the refs and you know or if you're playing pickup ball what 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 the people you're playing with say is some of the street ball moves like the boomerang okay if you watch that tutorial um if you haven't seen it check it out i'll link right here but basically what you're doing is you're fake passing the ball and you're having it go flying in the air and coming back to you 
I would say personally, now there might be some argument on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you disagree. But if you caught the ball from a, from you know one of your teammates and your defender comes up on you and you fake the pass the ball, I think as long as you don't throw the ball up and you throw it more like down like that, and then come and continue to dribble, as long as you continue to dribble, I would say that is a legal move. There might be some argument on that, but once again, I, I look at that as being your first dribble. Okay, you didn't throw the ball in the air and catch it in the air. You didn't carry the ball because you never dribbled before. And and it's not a double dribble because, you know, you, you, you never dribbled the ball, picked it up, and dribbled again. So keep those things in mind. Hopefully that'll help you, you know, be able to answer for yourself when you watch a lot of my tutorials. Is this legal? Is this not legal? Carrying, double dribbling, and throwing the ball up and catching it. Those are the main three things that are not legal to keep in mind. So hopefully, you know, you can tell what's legal, what's not legal to do in a regular game. Like I said, some of the illegal stuff is definitely helpful and beneficial for you building your body coordination, your ball control, speed, etc., etc., etc. I mean, there's a lot of drills that coaches will have you do that you can't do in a regulation basketball game, but you still practice them because they help develop these skills. So don't, don't necessarily think that they're not worth your time. But that being said, I would say if you are a fundamental basketball player playing for a team in regulation basketball, stick to mostly, I'd say 80 to 90% of your training should be working on your actual game. Um, outside of that, of course, you got your weightlifting, you know, your stretching, your things of that nature, and you know, maybe even some more of these illegal moves. But uh, once again, even with a lot of that 80% of the time, 90% of the time, a lot of coaches will have you do drills that are not legal. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, let me know if you got any more questions. Leave a comment below with any more questions you got, or you know, hit me up in the inbox or Facebook, Twitter. I might not respond to you directly there. Stay tuned to more videos, though. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch a lot of these answers, and I'll have a lot more coming for you. Thanks.